Okay, today we're going to have a look at the uh, Dreamer Extruders and how to uh, fix a blocked nozzle. Uh, there's a few things that can go wrong with uh, the print. If, uh, if your nozzles are sitting too close to the bed, then it stops the filament coming out. And uh, I've, I've had uh, uh, someone before do that that they've just they've just set it up so that it's um, too close to the bed because they haven't leveled it properly and then they've tried to force the filament through and so it tied up inside of the extruders so we're going to pull these apart today and um, and have a look at um, what tools you need how to do it what are the most common problems that go wrong with um, the uh, blockage and um, and how to fix it. First of all, we want to look at how to pull this thing apart. So uh, you can see I've already taken off the fan at the side. There's there's a, a bolt that holds on the um, part that hooks underneath, and uh, you actually have to loosen off the two bolts that are in here. I've just taken that off totally, um, so it's just sitting beside. Uh, I'm not going to bother removing the extruders, it's actually fairly easy to do it while it's in the machine. Um, just to note some of the main features, these are the extruders down here with the heater units on top of them. Sometimes they're tight, sometimes they're loose, depending on if they've been changed before. Um, we've got the fans at the front, we've got a fan at the side. On top we've got the circuit board enclosure. Um, behind the fans we've got a couple of... Uh, heat sinks and um, we've got the uh, the mechanism for feeding the filament downwards so with the, the pressure switches these things and behind those are the stepper motors so we're going to pull it apart just to um, see how it goes so tools that we need uh, make sure you've got a good set of uh, um, allen keys so these are nice ones here just from Bunnings and make sure you've got a couple of uh, decent pliers so uh, standard pliers preferably and a needle nose pliers some of the other things that we might need you might need uh, some drill bits and uh, in particular um, if, if we want to uh, if you don't have any spare nozzles then you can re-drill these with a 0.4 millimeter drill bit if you've got a 0.4 mil drill bit and if you've got a drill that can hold a 0.4 millimeter drill bit let's have a look at how to get into this so uh, Allen keys first of all we're going to remove a couple of fans Okay, now be careful as you're pulling these out. Um, you'll see, hold the heat sink on, and you'll see that there's two nylon little spaces. But we can take off the heat sink, and uh, we can take off the nylon spaces. Don't lose those; they're important. And we can take out the bolts, and uh, we can have a look. But there's this. Uh, mechanism in here this is the end of the stepper motor and you'll see that the roller over here moves away from the stepper motor so if you've got filament loaded that's where the load the filament is pinched between the stepper motor and the roller and uh, sometimes you get a blockage in there especially if someone has tried to force the filament in and uh, that can be a pain you can pinch that sometimes if you're lucky you can get that out if you're not lucky it's a matter of removing um, removing this uh, bolt in here and uh, when you remove that you also have to take off the top bit and we can pull that whole assembly out so we might have a look at that now so we're uh, undoing the bolts that are on top We can tip that forward. It's got a little catch. This one's actually broken a little bit um, from being done the wrong way. Uh, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver then, 
because we're not undoing any of the other bolts in there, we're just undoing the two Phillips head screws. Now, it is restricted because we've got the plugs for the stepper motors, so, um, so we can uh, get a good grip of that. They just pull out those plugs. Okay, so now we've got that. Um, it is joined to this other fan, so I might just take the other fan off so we can see what it looks like. So uh, once again, take the heat sink with it. Make sure you remove the heat sink. Get the two nylon spacers and the two machine screws. Okay, so now we've got that. We can even pop these two longer machine screws out. We can really see the nuts and bolts of this. Okay, so um, those stepper motors just pull off like that. Um, there's nothing holding them on except for the uh, screws at the front. So, um, so if you have had a blockage, it's easier to, enough to get those off. I'm covering that. Oh, and uh, take that out. Now, when you take this apart, there's a spring. This is spring loaded, so uh, it's going to jump. And we also don't want to lose the brass washer in there. So what you can do, get your needle nose pliers and we can compress the spring. Makes it a little easier. There it goes. So you don't lose it. Store it with the other parts. Once you've got that out, this part slides off fairly easily. And like I said, don't lose that brass. Okay, once you've taken all of that gear off, you should be able to get the filament from out of there pretty easily. Um, you can inspect and if you have any filament stuck in the teeth of this gear, you can try and scrape some of that filament out. Um, I have seen filament get stuck right underneath, uh, right underneath there before. Um, and I would say that was another time that someone was forcing, trying to force the filament in. and with it turning it pulled itself under so um but that's yeah how to get the stepper motors out um and that means that um you have open access to uh, any of the other problems you can see this one's got some filament stuck in it um so uh i can i'll look at how to clear that soon but uh just for people undoing the nozzles you just have to make sure if it's a really tight one that you can get the, this access from above because you need to use the needle nose pliers and um, you need to make sure you're not damaging the wires that are in there and uh, you need to get a good grasp of the uh, of the heater unit so it's a bit hard to see there but I'm grabbing the heater unit from the top um, it's a bit hard to get it from the bottom and to keep it firm and rigid but you have to really grip onto that without damaging the wires. Um, you also, sorry I didn't tell you earlier, 10 millimeter spanner comes in handy and, um, and you really have to force that sometimes. This one's on loose. Okay, there's a nozzle just there and uh, also underneath or inside the nozzles um, we have some of these <laughs> these little tubes sit inside the nozzle you can see that's a bit burnt from the heater and essentially that stops the filament from sticking to the heater wall so those tubes are stuck up there inside and you might need your pliers underneath and um, we can just pull those out. This one here has the filament stuck in it. You can see I've squashed it. Um, probably a good idea if your kits come with some spare ones of these or I'll just unsquash it. Um, but we have to make sure we can get the filament out of that tube. 
uh, because it can sometimes get stuck in there uh, like this other one still has filament stuck in it so you just need something long and sharp to be able to poke that out uh, if you can't poke it out with something long and sharp um, or fine then uh, you can possibly drill it uh, I'm not sure what size that is but let's try and pop that one there we go there, bit of filament stuck in there and uh, that was causing that blockage on both of those oh there's some more in there stab myself so uh, so they're clear now and um, the filament should be able to go through that pretty easily if you just get some fresh filament and just check if the filament goes through it fairly easily then there's no harm in reusing those but um, you do get spares so I guess you meant to put in a spare if you uh, feel that you need to um, but uh, that's gone through there pretty well so that one should be fine and uh, now this one here needs a bit of a clean on the nozzle so um, it's probably got a bit of a blockage now you can use acetone on nozzles uh, if you've got some acetone and uh, you can bathe those in acetone for a few hours um, to see if that helps clear it up but uh, I prefer to get out my Dremel and a 4 millimeter, uh, 0.4 millimeter drill bit and um, to drill those and in a sense that nozzle may not have even been the problem it's, um, if I hold that up to the light uh, yeah I can't see through that one but um, so I'll, I'll give it a bit of a drill might even try just by hand the drill bit and uh, see if I can grab into that getting something out of there so you can even see the hole now so that's pretty right okay so just carefully Guys, you can see through it now. That's it, unblocking a nozzle. It's that easy. So, then it's the job of putting it all back together again. So, uh, make sure you've got those tubes to put in there. So uh, we're putting the tube in the nozzle, first of all, and then we'll put that back up and we'll screw that in by hand, first of all. Okay, so that being done, let's get our two motors and uh, one of the motors goes this way. Okay, so we need to uh, put this one back together again. focus on that okay so you can see the hole here that's where that um, that brass bearing goes in so we can line that up just push it in a little bit and uh, that should locate there it is okay once that's in place we can put the uh, machine screw back in We need to put the spring back in there, so locate the top of the spring first, like so, and pop the bottom in to the hole, like so. When you've got this assembled together again, should have some resistance with the spring pop back in place. You can put those down, making sure that uh, we're not pinching on any of those wires, and uh, when that top covers back in place we can put in the um, countersunk machine screws pop the back one in and locate it down below 
Now don't do these up too tight. They're not meant to be tight as such. If you tighten it up too much, it's going to snap that plastic. And this one's already a bit broken. Once you've got the back one, locate that front one. Just until there's a bit of resistance there. Okay, pop these uh, connectors back in for the stepper motors, like so. That's it. It's just in there. Gonna cover this back up, like so. Uh, put some screws back in there. Okay, there. Making sure it fits. Two bolts. Two bolts. Two nylon washers. Heat sink. There we go. Heat sink. Line it up. Ah, oh, see, there we have it. That's the problem I was talking about. Is if you put it in the wrong place, you have to uh, adjust that. Go. So if you give it a bit of a wriggle around, you can feel those bolts push in to place. There we go. That's got them. So if you make sure the bolts are pushed in before you start tightening it, the bolt should sit almost flush. There. That's pretty much how to uh, fix a clogged or a blocked um, extruder nozzle and uh, everything else that can be blocked. Um, still have to mount that fan on. And the bit underneath but uh, that's the idea so go ahead and put the rest of the machine back together again um, put in the filaments load them up and you should find that it all goes and starts working again make sure you do another level too thanks for watching